Are you having an idea crisis, unsure about what to shoot and how to edit? No worries, whenever I encounter such a problem, I immediately open ChatGPT. I simply enter a prompt and get almost complete storyboard. So hold on tight, because I'm about to show you how ChatGPT can make your editing 10 times better. So let's dive right in. As always, you should start with the right prompt. I will ask ChatGPT to direct a one minute video and provide tips on filming, editing, transitions, effects and more. In my case, on the first try, the result is not quite what I need. So let's try again. Okay, the second variant is just what we need, much better. Here we have a detailed description of the footage needed along with timings, advices on color grading and everything else. I will additionally ask him to pick a few music tracks from the free YouTube music library and boom, the list of tracks is done and gives an explanation of which track should play where and why. And let's begin our editing. Let's begin with the basics, importing all the videos and audio tracks into Movavi Video Editor. That's easy, done. According to ChatGPT, the video should begin with a shot of a city street at night, with the shot slightly tilted and lasts around 5 seconds. Drag the video onto the timeline, which offers an intuitive interface for organizing clips within your project. It allows you to split them into multiple tracks and set or unlink clips as needed. While you can manually edit Edit using scissors and drag and drop clips, the program also provides automation options to streamline the process. In my video, the camera slightly rotates, so I won't tilt the horizon. Instead, I will simply double the video speed and trim it to around 5 seconds. And perfect! The camera rotation adds a dynamic touch and the footage cuts out as the horizon levels. Next, according to the plan, there is a fast-paced montage of different CD scenes. ChatGPT suggests making the montage quick with each shot lasting two to three seconds. Once again, I will drag the footage onto the timeline, trim it down and speed it up. Since most of my footage is slowed down, I need to speed up each clip. And just like that, it's done. Next, according to the plan, we need a slower paced video that shows a long shot of a city skyline with the camera slowly panning across the buildings. Easy! Simply drag the video file onto the timeline, trim it to the desired duration and select more tools. From there, choose animation, advanced, and add keyframes. Two dots appear on the timeline with the first representing the video's starting position and the second showing the end position. Double click on the first point and adjust the corners of the image to bring the camera closer, specifying the starting position. Repeat this step with the second keyframe and the end position. Don't worry if you make mistakes while adjusting the scale. The smooth animation effect the app creates will hide small mistakes. Mistakes. And there you have it, like a charm. Let's continue following the plan. Next up, we must show people drawing graffiti. ChatGPT suggests using a long, continuous shot but I won't listen to him and will create a three part sequence instead. I will drag and drop all three clips onto the timeline, do a little cutting and trimming, adjust speed a bit and that's all. The next scene should show a train traveling through a tunnel. Again, I will expand the footage and use three clips just as I did for the previous scene. I will do the same thing to the next scene which should show a group of friends exploring abandoned places. I will add a couple more b-rolls ChatGPT suggestions just in the end and call it a day. At this point, the video sequence is complete. However, we still need to add the final touches such as fade into black and add in text. Well, it's easy. Add a black background from backgrounds and a block of animated text from the text tab. And done. I think the first opening shot will benefit from some text too, so I will add it the same way. For the video to fade to black, I need the transition, but I will do that later. The next step is color correction. I will repeat the process for each video file. So look carefully. In the effects, lots tab, I will choose the appropriate preset suggested by ChatGPT. After that, I will manually adjust the brightness, contrast and saturation where necessary. And the final touch is my idea, adding grain to make it look more like film. This way will add a little bit more style to the video and it will help hide some editing mistakes. As for the color grading itself, ChatGPT suggests keeping color colors muted and washed out for the first couple of scenes to create a gritty urban look. In scenes with friends exploring abandoned places, I will use a more greenish preset just as ChatGPT suggested. This will create a creepy otherworldly atmosphere 
And in the final sequences, the color correction should be more cinematic. So I will do all adjustments manually to achieve that. Now that the color correction is complete, it's time to add transitions to give the video a polished and professional look. Movavi Video Editor offers a wide range of free transitions in the Transitions tab, and the Effects Store gives even more options to choose from. To add a transition, simply drag it onto the timeline, adjust its duration as needed, and you are done. Okay, the hardest part is over. As you can see, the editing process in Movavi Video Editor is incredibly straightforward and intuitive. In any other video editing app, it would have taken much more time and effort. And the Movavi Video Editor is included in the Movavi Unlimited subscription, which brings together the best of Movavi in one accessible and intuitive platform. Video editing, photo editing, screen recording, file conversion, nine programs and one year of unlimited access to the effects store for the price of one app. And the app is very easy to use, preparing source files, visual design of entire videos, photo retouching, everything can be done in a few clicks. Plus, from our guides, you can see firsthand how easy the editing process is and how simple some complex effects are to replicate. And unlike its professional counterparts, Movavi Unlimited will run great on the average computer as well. The price is good, but you can make it fantastic with our special promo code VLOG15. Follow the link in the description and use this coupon while checking out to redeem extra 15% off the price of Movavi Unlimited. Now it's time to work on the sound. ChatGPT suggested four tracks in the plan, so I downloaded all of them, but I'm not sure if I need all four for a one minute video. We'll see how it goes. So according to the plan, this track should be the first one. Hmm. I must admit that ChatGPT has an interest in taste. It's okay, I will play along. Since ChatGPT didn't provide clear timings for the audio, I will have to manually select suitable fragments. I will listen to the track and cut out all the irrelevant parts. After finishing with the first track, the next step is to make a smooth transition to the second track. To do this, you need to add a volume point by right-clicking on the audio track and choosing Add Volume Point. I personally usually use three volume points for each track, position the points and adjust the fade in and out so that that the second track starts to fade in before the first one starts to fade out. This will prevent sudden changes in volume or moments of silence. Some tracks may not be easy to put together, but with a little practice and timing adjustments, you can make the transition almost seamless. And yes, just as I expected, four tracks is too much for this video, so I'll stick with only two. Two tracks are easier to blend together and the audio itself feels more consistent. <laughs> well, following ChatGPT's plan made the editing process a breeze, we've asked for a plan, followed it, and got a really cool video in the end. we've used stock footage, but it still turned out great, yet the best results could be achieved if you shoot your own footage. This way you will adhere to ChatGPT's directions even more. So be sure to try using ChatGPT and its creativity in making your own videos. And then be sure to leave a comment with a review and see you in the next one.